As a game designer, there's a couple things that make me extremely excited about Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the first and obvious thing is the visuals. Uh, when you look at the way that the lighting works and the fact that you can immediately blow off a roof and have the lighting pour in bounce properly is very, very exciting. You can consider things like realistic day-night cycles, some weather effects, things like that that could have really interesting impact on gameplay. The other things that excite me are the particle systems. I'm curious to see what we could do with those particle systems that really look like millions and millions of individual particles swirling about that you have a lot of control over. Uh, reflectivity is also very, very exciting. Uh, the potential for later exploring destructibility. Uh, when you ask me when next generation is, it's really the sum of all its parts. And then furthermore, I'm really excited about the new Kismet. I really think that we're going to be able to do some amazing things that empower the level designers and designers to almost make their own mini games within the game. So what Kismet is allowing us to do is to rapidly prototype and rapidly iterate even faster than ever. Uh, previously, if I as a creator wanted to micromanage, for example, uh, an explosion effect, I would have to sit down with the programmer and say, okay, can we get a screen shake in there? And he'd be like, okay, the artist has to give me the screen shake, then I have to put the code hooks in. I need explosion sounds, so now we need the code hooks for the sound, now we need the particle effects. This is something that could be done all by one person, and you don't necessarily have to bother a programmer who's going to be busy with all the other stuff the programmers have to deal with. What I'm hoping for the future of video games in general, especially in the AAA space, is this will free up programmers to spend more time on interactive systems to just have more emergent gameplay. If they're not busy you know, with the small stuff, they can allow the other designers to kind of focus on that. Then they can make games that yield different gameplay, games that yield interesting YouTube videos, games that allow gamers to express their creativity as opposed to the designers trying to prove how cool they are. I'm hoping that when gamers get a first glimpse at the next generation Unreal Engine 4 a title that they'll see something that looks darn near if not rendered. I'm hoping that there'll be debates online about people claiming that footage from the game was faked. That was actually the target goal for the current generation of consoles and as we've seen with a lot of pre-rendered graphics i.e. a Blizzard cinematic you're like actually consoles can't quite render that yet and we're hoping to get right to that point. Even in the current console generation of the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, the best looking titles, you can still look at them and they kind of have this gamey look to them. I've maybe a little pixel shimmer here and there, maybe the lighting just doesn't look right to you because we as humans know what good lighting looks like even though we can't explain it. I'm hoping that with Unreal Engine 4 and whatever the next generation winds up being, of course depending on the spec, we'll get to the point where everything just looks right and it almost looks real. And then we're at a point where we can stylize our games in ways that we choose. You want to make a game that looks cell shaded you want to make a game that looks film noir, you want to make a game that looks 8-bit, you can do that now, but you have the power to go almost real if you want to. I personally believe that the main way to survive as we move to whatever this next generation is going to be, if graphics are much better as they need to be, which I personally believe, you can't just continue to exponentially scale your teams. The key is to continue to work smarter, not harder, to allow your creatives to do what they do best, which is create, and to be far more efficient. The epic way has always been to make better tools, and that's how we've done well.